So, apparently I'm in a video making mode these days. Kind of funny how I come in and out, but right now I'm a video making machine and probably going freaking streak again, who knows? So I was been thinking about all day what I should do on my topic on. And I was just, as I was laying there taking a nap, I realized, Mikey, it's slapping you in the face. What you need to do today, you need to do a video on freaking rapid cycling and rapid thoughts. Now, first of all, before I get into that, an interesting observation. When I decided to change my format to what it is with Mikey instead of a road down bipolar, I thought I was going to be moving away from the mental illness a little bit. But au contraire, it seems most of my videos lately have to do with mental illness. I always thought I wanted to keep that aspect in it, but I guess it's appealing to the masses finally. Either that or I just have some really cool people that have really taken a love into Mikey's stuff. Anyway, just an interesting observation. And in keeping with that theme, today's video is on rapid cycling. It may be interesting to see how I cycle through this video, actually. So... Another observation, and let me ask you all a question. When you're rapid cycling, if you do such a thing, and you happen to be bipolar like your boy here, does it make you tired as hell all the time? Like, I am always tired when I am really moving. My brain goes a thousand miles an hour, but the problem is, I don't have a lot of physical energy, I'm not in great health. So the interesting thing about rapid cycling is your brain sometimes makes you act like a five-year-old and you run around, you sing and you dance, or you go to this place and that place and you do this project and that project. But the problem is you may not have the physical ability to do such things and then you really pay for it after. So you ever noticed you get all hopped up and you go outside and freaking mow the lawn and trim the trees and everything, or you run around the house cleaning every freaking thing you can find, even if it really doesn't need to be clean. And then after you're done, you come down. And then you're so freaking tired you can barely walk because you used all this energy you didn't have. So I like to think of it as being in negative energy. And so you go to lay down because you're so freaking tired. But a lot of times there's another problem that comes with this. You see, when you're really up and you're manic as crap and you're all hopped up, your brain may not even want to rest. I find a lot of times recently when I'm trying to take a nap because I'm physically so friggin' tired that my brain just keeps on trucking and I lay there and I'll think about everything, as I like to say, thinking up the plan for world domination. So I roll back and forth as I'm thinking about why does this happen? Why does that happen? Why do I have to do this? Why do I have to do that? Why do I have to go there, here? Why do I have to go there? Why? Oh, why, why? And I think about all the things I got should be doing, but I'm too tired to do them because I have no physical energy, so I lay there miserable as crap and start feeling guilty. This is usually when my guilt sets in, when I'm manic. Because, as I say, my brain's going a thousand miles an hour thinking of all these things to do and everything, but I don't have the energy to do them and thinking about doing them as a freaking monumental task. 
All I could do is lay there, be depressed, and feel guilty. And that's what I tend to do a lot of times when I'm manic. I want to write some creepy pasta, but my problem is I always sit there and get too antsy. I think about all the things I should be doing. Oh, Mike, you should be washing the freaking dishes, or you should be out working on the car, or you should be trying to solve the world's problems or something. So how dare you sit here and try to write some creepy pasta on what ain't your time? And that seems to be another big problem with me when I'm manic. I always feel guilty that I should be doing a specific thing, but either one, I forget what I'm supposed to do, or two, I don't have the energy, so I just sit here all tired thinking about it. As a lot of you know, when you buy polar in the old Brano, the old hamster ain't running so fresh on the wheel. You can think and think and think about all the things you gotta do, but you just can't freaking do them. So you end up doing nothing that day, then you feel guilty as hell for the, that night while you're laying there thinking about world domination instead of going to sleep, and it's half your problem. If you ain't getting sleep, you can't have the physical energy you need to do things, but the next day comes, then the rapid thoughts come in, and your brain's going a million miles an hour. So you go to take a nap, but you can't sleep, so you just lay there miserable. It's a vicious cycle that goes over and over and over and over and over. And so then you're sitting there going, I love the creativity. I love that I could write all these books and all this crap. I love that I can remember the songs, remember the lyrics, remember the words to every freaking movie I watch. But I wish I could just slow down a little. But see, then you have to start thinking about what's coming. And what's coming for your boy is that crippling, that horrible, that sucky depression. I'm hoping I can hold it off this year until after Halloween at least. Because it seems to be creeping on earlier every year. And yet... Oh, I just hope I can make it. I want to do so much stuff for Halloween, but the problem is, if I have rapid thoughts and everything's going Wee! in my brain, I may not be able to concentrate on what I want to do for Halloween, and it'll come and go as it has in years past. Uh, okay, for instance, I have a Christmas village I used to put up every year. I have so many pieces for it that it takes a decent sized table to get everything on it. There's probably a couple hundred dollars invested in that sucker. And I took so much pride, I love making that thing up. I change things up a little every year, put this little guy that's holding the ladder here, and I put the little dog there, and I put the little dog, the little deer over here, and Santa Claus over there, and each year I'd switch it up a little. I'd be so proud of my display. But then the kids started getting into it because they were little and knocking things over. And then we got dogs and they started dominate my little village world. So I started making excuses for myself why I couldn't put it up the next year. And it's been about five years now since I put it up. I'm kind of pissed at myself because I haven't been putting it up. But it's getting to the point where thinking about putting it up is getting more tiring than putting it up. And that's where depression sucks. But as you guys could probably tell, I'm running at a million miles an hour today. I thought rapid thoughts and rapid speech Rapid Cycling was a good video for the day to show you all that I can't stop and I'm so freaking tired. 
All right, guys. I'm going to try and leave it at that. You know, we'll probably make another video in an hour. I have no idea. But I hope you all get it. I hope you take care. And it's what it is with Mikey and what it is is freaking rapid thoughts. All right, guys. Talk to you later.